So today we heard so many different AI terms. It's a big umbrella term. We talked about generative AI. We talked about creative AI, I believe it was mentioned. I'll try to talk about uh, productive AI, something that any company, small, medium, and large, can use yesterday, today, and definitely tomorrow. So let's imagine a case. Um, manufacturing company, family owned, let's say they get orders by email, by fax, by other ways. And they have a few people processing those documents. Then something happens, COVID, volume goes up. What's the natural reaction? Let's get more people into accounting. Let's get more hands to process more documents. So they essentially have, there we go. They essentially have tools of yesterday to deal with bigger volumes. Well, at some point, they may get bigger tools. So those could be AI-related tools. Help us process more documents. Help, help us manage with more transactions. Help us connect system A to system B. Let's say if documents come in by email, let's have a robot monitor those emails and load that information into our accounting system, into our legal uh, platform. Let's route documents if it's an urgent document, it needs to go to a CEO for approval. So uh, a case is that company, small company, received the biggest order of their lifetime, a million dollars during COVID. They were doing protective gear. Ship today, urgent. They did not see that order for three days because they were busy with other orders on top of those emails. Processing $100, $500 for other small. They failed in that order. Imagine if there was a digital worker that could receive that email and within 30 seconds know that this, it's a big order, it's above certain limits, it needs to send a text message to a CTO, CEO, or maybe to the warehouse to prepare for that order coming. So those are the systems missing today in many, many businesses that we work with. Uh, large companies, trucking companies, there was a case where a driver didn't see the bill of lading, they entered the temperature onto the refrigerator truck and they froze $70,000 worth of bananas. One little mistake. Instead, scan that document with a barcode and have the system pull up the information and set the refrigerating unit automatically. That's where everything is going. So today there are many disjoint systems that don't talk to each other. Documents in the email cannot be seen by an accounting system. Documents sitting on a fax machine or even in a digital folder, many companies say went paperless. What does that mean? They got rid of the fax machine, so now all of the documents arrive to their folder. And it takes longer for people to browse through the document, look at it, and still enter the information manually. AI needs information to act. So some of the information is still locked in paper form, in images, in PDFs, inaccessible for decision making. So we have many practical tools that allow AI perform steps uh, that humans take today, that humans took over the years. A basic case of a paperless workflow for an invoice. Document may come in at any time, day, morning, evening, by one of those methods, through a fax machine, through a mobile device, etc. It's typically what you expect. An accounting person takes a document, looks at it, enters it into the Salesforce, SAP, or some other system. And that could take hours, that could take days. And it takes human time. The most expensive, the most precious resource of every company, human time. Instead, such a simple process. Let the machine monitor those sources, pick up the documents, get the information, find the vendor, put the document where it needs to be, and send a notification to the user saying, invoice arrived, approve it, one click. So that's where everything is going um, at some point. ChatGPT cannot do that for you. And there were many slides that were talking about large companies. Of course, big companies automated this process. How about small and medium business, which is majority of the businesses in, in this country? Uh, they cannot afford to have a three-month project and a huge budget and a development team to implement this stuff. So our company created about 50 different workflows for common business routines. Transportation, accounting, contract management, and their document types. AI can understand cognitively 500 different document types. If it's a mortgage, it can split it into different documents and then decide if any document is missing, if there's a signature not in place, and so on, and act much quicker in seconds instead of spending human hours, human days on it. 
So I call it practical AI. It is based on machine learning. It is following the users. Even if it doesn't know something at a company, it should learn from your users. Instead of hiring a second accountant and teaching that person how to follow the processes, maybe they just need bigger tools. Maybe they need better, more uh, cognitive tools that can perform some of these actions. People are still a very important part of any company, but uh, they need just help. And AI, specific types of AI can bring it to their fingertips.